gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter got it Hello everyone and thank you for coming to my YouTube channel that is Deb Chanel's 48th World. I want to thank you for all your past support, your current support, and your future support of my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe to all of my videos. Okay, but let's get on into this video that Media Takeout brought up for us. Okay, it was a staff writer over there at Media Takeout News. Take it for whatever you can use and we're going to say all of this is allegedly because if it was true, baby, <laughs> baby, if it was true, woo, we're going to have it lit come the Real Housewives of Atlanta, probably um, episode five or six, okay? Because right now, a staff writer over there at Media Takeout News is titling their article, Atlanta Housewife Nene Leakes sets Kenya Husband on Blind Date This Weekend. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, that's what the title read. Let me read it to you one more time. It says, Atlanta housewife Nene Leakes sets Kenya's husband on blind date this weekend. And I tell you, to tell you the truth from watching a sneak peek of the next episode, I think it's three or it might be four. And they play with us sometimes. You know, that Bravo franchise, they play with us. They think we think we get one thing when the next episode come up and it'll be a totally another whole thing that than what they had showed us for us a trailer prior to the episode being shown. But anyway, it is one episode that's coming up where Ma treats Kenya like dirt, like a piece of gum underneath his shoe. The way he just dismisses her, the way he just uh, pays more attention to the baby, even though she's in the background talking to him. And she's not asking rhetorical questions, okay? She's asking, when well, she's saying something, wanting him to say something fulfilling and, and um, valid back to her. But he's totally ignoring her. And it's a hot piss pot piece of shame that she would even want to stay married to this man. I'm like, can you where's your self-esteem, girl? Why you can have all this energy and boldness when it comes to getting women together when you feel they have offended you in some way? But you got this man sitting up here on big national wide, probably be a syndication type show whenever it ends, dogging you mentally, verbally, and physically. When I say physically, I mean, uh, like, not hands put on her, but uh, the things that he say and does, it manifests itself in her body where it could make her sick, even mentally sick. And she don't need that. I mean, she's already had this past stigma and, and devastation. She really hasn't, I feel, dealt with, with the trauma of not having her mother in her life at the pivotal age that she needed to, her primary stages of becoming the little girl she wanted to grow up to and manifest herself to be as a grown woman. So she falls very short in that uh, situation of not having that uh, clear, cut, clear cut foundation building upon so she can be a, a stronger and beautiful woman for herself and for whoever she engaged with in, you know, in life. So I was like, when I saw the scene that he was, you know, feeding baby Brooklyn and giving her all the love and attention, and he was just like, whatever Kenya was saying out her mouth, it did not matter. He was real quick, real short with her, very just nasty and rude. I don't know if y'all caught it, but I'm sure they'll keep playing it until we actually see that episode. But it was just a piss poor thing. I was like, where are the papers? Let me sign whether this is a fictitious marriage or not. Let me just sign the paper because I'm tired of him. His services are no longer needed. He's been dismissed. You know, bye-bye. You know, that type of situation. So let's go on and get on into this article that they wrote up for us. Yes, again, we're getting this from Media Takeout News. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's news we can use, but we're going to go on and digest it, and we're going to just uh, let it marinate in our stomachs, and if we need to put our hand down our throat to throw it back up, we shall do so. All right, but I'm going to take it like a grain of salt, and I'm going to put my two cents in here and there, however I want to play it, and y'all can take it for whatever y'all feel, and then y'all can tell me in them comments what y'all really felt about the subject matter. I speak on it, then I allow you all to speak on it, and then we're through with it. We'll put it to rest because I'm sure they're going to come up with another story we can just 
partake in together. Okay, but we're going to go into the story. It says Kenya Moore and her husband Mark Daly are currently separated, but she hopes that uh, they will eventually reconcile and become a family again. Wrong answer, Kenya. That ship has sailed. Oh, honey, it's in the abyss. You can't see it no more. Y'all think you can see it's clear ocean, clear ocean. No more, no more. Keep it that way. Okay, especially if he's doing what I saw he was doing to you in that particular uh, episode. Girl, please run for the hills. Mm. Anyway, moving back, that's just my sidebar. It says, well, that's not going to happen. If Kenya, Kenya's Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star Nene Leakes has anything to do with it, Media Takeout News spoke with folks close to Nene who tell us that Nene has already set up Mark on a number of blind dates. Oh, yes, blind dates. Okay, I ain't even uh, been divorced yet. <laughs> no proceedings have taken place, all right? This is just like her marriage that we all, well, I ain't going to say all, some of us feel that it's fictitious. Uh, there's no truth in it, but it just is what it is. Then we got the ones that... Or like, yeah, it happened. She just wanted everybody out of her business. She wanted to have a private, da 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 So you're always going to have your nares. You're always going to have your haters, naysayers, haters. Then you're going to have the people sitting on the fence that just don't know what to believe. Okay. But anyway, moving back to the article. That's, again, my sidebar. It says, um, and we can confirm that Mark has gone on one uh, at least one of those dates that Nene prepared for him last weekend. One of Nene's friends explained, Nene and Mark have become friends. Nene figured that's now that Mark is uh, his single. He is single. He'll set up, she'll set him up with more women that he thinks would be, that she thinks would be a good match for him. The friend added, it's tough to find a handsome, single, successful black man. Nene set him up with one of her girlfriends from New York. They went out on a date on Saturday. Wow. Is Nene being out of bounds? Hell yeah, Nene being out of bounds. That's a, Oh, even Stephen Wonder could see that. <laughs> if it's allegedly true, Nene needs to be taught and dealt with. Okay. Twirl fashion. All right. But I'm just saying, oh, that's allegedly. We don't know this now. But did she do that? Man, what did Kenya Moore ever do to her that she's going to go and set up her soon-to-be ex-husband? Who can you swear she don't want to let go of? But she can't fight the battle by herself, she says. But she's going to try. Like, girl, give it up. <laughs> give it up. Don't keep no man that won't, don't want to be kept. Don't keep no man that don't want to be killed. Okay? That's priceless. Keep it for your archives. All right? And come back and visit it anytime you think you want to get back with Mr. Mark. If he definitely is mistreating you physically, mentally, and uh, spiritually. Okay? Thank you. Going back to the article, it says, We can't wait to see what happens when Nene and Kenya meet up again at the Real Housewives of Atlanta's reunion show, which films in 2020. Back in October, it was reported that Kenya... Uh, confronted Nene after hearing that she's been talking to Mark behind her back and inside a revealed to love the Scott. Things escalated quickly with Nene telling Kenya that Mark said he doesn't even like her girl. He don't like her. It was just a setup arrangement. He can't get rid of her. Ooh, she just like a tick that won't stop ticking. Okay, a clock, a watch that won't stop ticking. Or a tick on her back, like a flea on a dog. Okay, she won't go away. That's what Mark allegedly is saying behind Kenya's back, girl. That's not in this article, but on my sidebar. Okay, going back to the article, it says, Nene continued to throw out different things. She and Greg were allegedly told by Mark as their fight got more intense. Okay. Then, according to the source, Nene began to make a hawking sound as if she was preparing to spit in Kenya's direction. All right, Nene, keep that slob in your mouth. Keep it, swallow it, and process it. Okay, girl, keep it walking. Um, although, that was my sidebar again, not in this article. The insider couldn't confirm whether Nene actually did spit. There was at least one cast member who allegedly heard Nene say that she was planning to spit on Kenya Moore. Girl, I believe if Kenya Moore was on fire, Nene wouldn't even piss on her. She wouldn't even piss on her child. She would just let her burn up to a crisp. Oh, my goodness, my lord. Okay. And going back to the article, that was my sidebar, not in that article. It says, as Real Housewives of Atlanta fans may have heard, this was the second time Kenya and Nene nearly got physical with one another. As previously reported, the ladies' first encounter took place during a trip cast, well, trip cast, 
a cash trip to Toronto, Canada several weeks ago. All right, that was it for that little conversation, that little article write up. Don't know if it's true or not. Could totally all be false, okay? But it was just entertaining, girl. It was just entertaining, guy. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about the subject matter, okay? And whether, in fact, this could definitely be true. <laughs> My goodness, I tell you that damn Kenya and Nene, they make this show. I don't care what nobody says. You get rid of these, either one of them, Raiden's going to plunder and you know, Real Housewives going to be a thing of the past, child, a thing of the past. But again, y'all get in them comments. Thank you for coming over to my channel, spending a little time with me, trying to figure out what I had to say, what I wanted to get off my chest, what I wanted to speak my mind, my opinion on. And y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about it. Y'all spin and y'all take on it and see what y'all want to let me know about what y'all felt about it, okay? But I'll talk to you in another video. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. I know I ain't perfect, but